Zara Spring Summer Fashion is one of my most favorite things in the world, so I did go a little bit crazy this month, but I did want to find some staple tops and staple pants, and also they brought out so many different colored suit sets, and suit sets right now what I'm completely obsessed with, mostly because I've been obsessively watching Dynasty and Fallon and Crystal have the most amazing suit set collection from cobalt blues to bright pinks to baby pinks to blushes. Hmm. So a few of these items I am unsure of and I will need your help to tell me if I should keep them or not because knowing me I'd probably just keep all of them and then I probably wouldn't wear them as much so I really need to be more um, as of a savvy shopper and I need your help with that. So let's get on to the clothes! more stripy tops. I always love one of those kind of blouse sleeveless tops with a bow here, like a pussy bow that ties up. I think it looks so elegant. This one actually ties on the side and it's more of a stripy mustardy blue combo. And I like how it is such a modern pattern but it has such a classic sophisticated cut to it and it flows really nicely. This one actually comes with matching pants as well but I think it was just a little bit too much because it does kind of look like PJ pattern and you have it all over your body. It might be a little bit too much of a PJ pattern. So I prefer to just keep it simple with either long black pants or just white shorts to go with it to dull it down to make it a bit more casual. This next top I know a lot of you will probably hate because it reminds you of like the candy striped nurse uniforms. Beware, it's very in your face. I know it's a little bit too much. The first time I saw it, I was like, oh yes. And I was like, oh no, I won't wear it. So I walked past. And then I walked past the second time again. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it on. And it actually looks so cute with just white shorts or just denim skirts. And I think it'd be really nice kind of over a piece for when you're wearing bathers and you're poolside lounging. But I think this is one of the items of clothing that I will reserve for wearing on holidays. You know, when you're on holidays in a tropical location. And you can get away with wearing the most outrageous patterns ever. So hopefully I get to go on one of those holidays very soon or hopefully I gain the confidence to walk around wearing this looking like a candy cane you know what this would actually suit Australian Christmas because it's hot and then you would also look like a candy cane perfect found another reason to wear it this top is more of your basic standard top I like how it's ribbed and it's kind of like a thin knit material the buttons are kind of very thin and pearly ones I wish they were more standout actually like a white one or something but I think it gives it more of a vintage feel I love tops with collars it's just so structured and I think it would look really great with some tailored pants or just even casually with a denim skirt. And the material is stretchy so it does cling onto your body. One last top before I get into basics. This is definitely another thing for if I go on a holidays to a tropical location. I don't know why I keep buying clothes for these situations but it just happens. So it is a very cropped top. I love anything with puffy sleeves and then sweetheart neckline because I think it makes you look like a doll and it's so dear. So either you would have to wear really high-waisted shorts or jeans or just like a long maxi skirt underneath to sort of balance it out because it is quite cropped. It kind of just hits underneath your brow line. But the material is really soft and breathable, but it is a teensy bit see-through, so you would have to wear like a nude brow or something underneath. And it does have the thick elasticated bands on the sleeves and on the bottom. Even though it's soft, the structuring in the shoulders do stay put. So. It's a very kind of bardo style top. Oh, I forgot, there's one more crop top in here, but I kind of bought this with the idea of wearing it as a bikini top because it's basically like a bralette. I just couldn't walk away from the pattern. Imagine how nice this would look with like black long pants or white pants and just lounging by the pool or just as like a kind of fancy bralette top for when you wear a top that has a lower v-neck cut or like a shirt unbuttoned when you're lounging by the pool. But yeah, look at this pattern, it's so cute! I think it would even look really nice as like a headband piece. You know what I mean? Doesn't this look nice? Maybe I should just wear this bralette as a headband. <laughs> Okay, on to basic tops. I needed something just very simple, very comfortable. Um, I really do like the texture of knitted tops, so I got this just small beige crop top that I can wear with uh, high-waisted pants or skirts, and it's so soft. It does feel thick, but I know it's going to be really nice and breathable, and it's something nice to wear underneath a shirt as well. This one I got on a whim as well. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not, because I usually steer away from plunging necklines, because it's not very my style, and it's just a little bit too sexy for me. So it is kind of like a one-piece leotard. The thing that gets me is that the area on the shoulder is quite wide and because I have quite a small build, if it's so wide up here and there's so much material up here, I feel like this top drowns me out a little. Also, I hate how when you wear 
low v-neck tops you spend the majority of your day just adjusting celebrity hollywood taping or just pinning so this top might just be a little bit too annoying but also if i do go on holidays or it's like a super hot summer day i could wear for example this bralette on the inside and this on top so this top looked great on the model but I just can't get it to fit right. I really love the color and I really like how it's just a very kind of basic cut. See, it looks really nice on here, but when I tried it on, when I try it on, it just doesn't sit right. And I like how it's not a leotard. Like, leotards are so annoying. Where they connect, it's either super uncomfortable or it's too long or it's too stiff. But I like how this one has almost a leotard look because of the fabric and that it clings to your body. But it is actually a t-shirt. But I'm just not sure if it sits right on me. So, need your help. Do I keep this one or not? And also, do I keep the black plunging neckline one or not? I'm actually, look at me trying to cull away the basic items that I actually need and keeping all these pattern things that I probably don't really need. So I have two dresses, shocker, because dresses are my absolute favorite things, but I've been trying not to buy dresses because I feel like you can only wear them so many times and they're not as versatile, especially when I like to buy patterned things. So going against the grain of getting a floral spring dress, I thought I'd go something more along the lines of like a Baroque, almost Paisley style dress. I love anything with extra shoulder detailing because I just feel like it adds a little bit more of an oomph to my frame. And then this one is also like an A-line skater skirt and it fits really nicely and the length is actually really nice as well. I think this would be one of those casual dresses that I could probably wear with Stan Smith's or when I'm on a holiday and just wear it with like Converse or just sandals. Just something easy to put on but also not too simple. I am an absolute sucker for white dresses and this might be my 10th white dress to enter the wardrobe. I'm also a sucker for, I think it's like, is it on glaze? or broidery dresses basically the ones with holes in them and then they like stitch it up so it's nicer and for some reason the ones with holes in them cost more than the ones without holes so anyway this is the kind of midi length dress that I got it is spaghetti straps but it is quite modest because you have the ruffling here it's very demure it's very feminine and I feel like a little angel in it when I walk around because the skirt is so soft and it just flows wherever you go I do like how they had the patterning on the dress because it is quite a a long dress and there's quite a lot of material and if there wasn't so many little patterns and little bits and bobs on it it might just look a bit too plain or just too much classic white fabric but this one would just be a dress to wear on those super hot summer days and it's just simple it's easy it's a sure hit as always i go out to wear crazy and that craze doesn't end during autumn and winter because for some reason zara thought it would be great to bring out these amazing colored blazers for spring and summer and I had to join the trend. So firstly, and probably one of my most favorite purchases in a while is this red blazer. Oh, I love it. I think red is such a standout boss color. I wore this while I was hosting an event and I just felt so confident in it. It is very boisterous. It's very outrageous. It's kind of like, look at me. But it also, for some reason, gives you like an inner confidence boost. I was a little bit unsure of the buttons because they are big and white and it makes it look a bit kind of costumey, but... I think it works because I wore it with an all-white outfit and then the white buttons kind of dull the blazer down to be more casual like because you know a big red blazer is quite intense. The material is also mostly polyester which means it doesn't crease as much. Well for me it doesn't. It kind of feels like that crepey type of material so it's breathable, it's not super structured, it does flow a bit more so it doesn't look super formal. This next one I'm a little bit unsure of, but I think I'm most likely going to keep. This one was completely inspired by the Dynasty suit sets. Candy blush pink suit set. So the thing that I don't like about the top suit is that there's no collars or anything. It just kind of goes straight cut down and there's a little hook there. So I don't 100% love the jacket, but together with the pants, it looks amazing. And I love any pants with these types of waistlines. Like, look at this outrageously big belt. I might look like a walking, super short Asian Barbie, but these two together look so good. Uh, if I do keep them, I'm definitely getting the pants fixed because they do balloon out on the bum area. And because there's already so much pink going on, I don't want there to be excess material making the suit kind of look larger and capture more attention than it already should. So if I do keep it, I'm gonna alter them into straight leg pants so they're a bit more fitted. Because with the jacket on, the suit pants look fine because the jacket kind of pushes it in. But if I wanted to wear these pants on their own, for example, if I wanted to wear these pants with a top like that, I think it would be really, really nice as well. But yeah, I definitely need to get these pants altered. Let me know. Do you absolutely hate the suit? I think even if most of you hate it, I think I will still keep it. Don't know when I would wear it, but I just need a Barbie pink suit in my wardrobe. 
just in case. What if I had one of those like legally blonde days, you know? So I usually steer away from wearing pink, but I think it's just the spring season and everyone posting photos of cherry blossoms that made me go a little bit Barbie crazy. And now I have this pink suede jacket. So this style of jacket is already my third color. This is already my third color in this style of jacket and they're all from Zara. I love this style of jacket because it's so structured and it adds a little bit of a flair to every outfit. You could just be wearing a t-shirt and jeans underneath, but with the jacket, you just look so much more well put together. And the material is also so warm and comfortable. And with this pink, it's almost kind of like a velvet feel to it, which is what really caught me. So if it was that usual suede one that they always come in, I don't think I would have liked it as much. But for spring, I think this jacket is so nice. Like you can just wear a flowy white dress underneath with this jacket on top. And you would be warm, but still look so spring appropriate. Because in spring, like in Shanghai, I don't know about you guys, but we have crazy cold days. Like recently, it's been 9 degrees, 12 degrees. And in three days later, it might be 28 degrees. So for those random days in spring where the world hasn't quite figured it out, it's meant to be warmer, this jacket will definitely come in handy. Just so cute and it feels so nice. This jacket I've had my eye on since last year, winter season it came out. It is this beige suede long jacket and it comes with a waist belt in the middle so you can really tie it up and look almost like a trench style coat. But with trench coats that material is kind of crunchy whereas I like it when it's suede because it's a lot softer and it looks less intense I guess. So I put it off buying it in winter because I was like, it's kind of thin, it wouldn't do well in winter, but in spring, autumn, this sucker is going to be so good. I've been wearing it when I go on the planes, so I've been wearing it when I go on the plane because it's thin enough to kind of roll up and put into my bag, but it's also thick enough to keep me warm. It's a really good transitional piece. One more thing that I didn't actually think I would buy or really like is this khaki sleeveless kind of long vest. So I generally don't really like khaki, but recently... I don't know, as I get older, the colors I like become more and more dull like my life. Just joking. But also, I see this piece as another transitional airport piece because I'm trying to work on my airport outfits. I feel like I always look like I'm wearing pajamas to the airport, whereas I could look better, you know. I could wear a t-shirt with some comfortable pants and drape this on top. So it would keep me warm, but it's also thin enough, like the other jacket, to roll up and stuff into my bag. So I've been on the hunt for a staple pair of white pants. I didn't want them to be super tailored but I don't want them to be super flared as well because I just wanted something else that I could wear more every day. And I ended up choosing three and I need to keep one and I need you to tell me which one I should keep. So the first one is a little bit different. It's very silk, it's very nice. It has the black lines on the side. I think I would like it more if the black lines weren't there, but I guess it makes them look cooler. So these ones are quite wide-legged. This one just looks so cool if they're wearing like a nice crop top or like a tight t-shirt on the top or that, you know, that plunging V neck leotard and with this on and you look so badass but like I said I don't think I can keep these because they're not very everyday pants the other pair that I got were these white ones and these ones are actually really really comfortable they're also structured too but they have this detailing where they have a kind of white ribbon going down the side and the white ribbon also going through the top I think that's what I don't like about these pants if these pants were the same material all the way through I think I would definitely choose this also, the pockets are fake, but I like the height at which it sits on my body. I just think the bottom of the legs are a little bit awkward. Like when, they're, they're the perfect length, but if they were a little bit tighter around the ankles, I think it would look better. But when I do fold them up, because the material is more structured, it kind of stays like very like boxy and it doesn't look very flowy. Like it's not like chinos when you roll them up. So the last option is... This one. I like the material the best of this one and the colour because it's more of like a... Can you tell the difference? White on white. It's more of a cream colour. But the problem is these sit a lot lower. They're a chino fit so they sit right where your hip bones are or lack of my hip bones. So if I do keep these ones, I would need to get them altered because I want them to sit a bit higher on my waist. But I do like the length of it. But they are a teeny bit big for a chino fit so I might have to take in the sides of the legs as well. As you can tell, I'm very lost. So I have to choose between these two, the chino fit ones or the ones with the ribbon going down. And I kind of really like these, so I want to keep it, but I kind of already have a pair of pants like that. But those pairs of pants are in Australia and I need one of these for China, so maybe I'll just double up on wide-legged white trousers. But with these, I, I can only keep one, so please tell me which one is better, the chino fit or the ribbon one. I never thought there'd come a day where I would buy flared-out jeans, so I've been looking for more 
not skinny jean types because the only jeans I've ever worn are skinny jeans. But with these flared jeans that I picked up from Zara, they are quite of a thin denim material. I don't like jeans that are really, really thick denim because you can't move and you can't like eat anything or you have to unbutton yourself. But I also like how it has rough edging on the bottom. So I realized I actually really like flared jeans now because when you wear heeled boots, you can just let them peep out underneath and you don't have to tuck in your jeans or do like an awkward roll around it. And I really like how heeled boots look underneath the flared jean ends. Does that make sense? But I feel like the cut of this flared jean is quite nice because it doesn't flare out too much but it's still also quite hugging on your upper thigh and as I said the material is quite thin and this is my favourite shade of denim as well, like a light denim. And finally the last pair of pants that are completely just Instagram trend Gingham pants! You know I've always loved gingham but it only became cool last year so. So these ones are a tiny bit big, they are an extra small. But Zara's sizing is so weird sometimes, like sometimes an extra small skirt will be too tight for me but extra small pants tend to be a lot bigger. These ones do have real pockets, the material is more on the crunchy side. I thought it would be a lot softer but that's okay. But I do love a good pair of gingham pants, like how cute would it be with that little white crop top on the top? Yes! Last but not least, I tried um, to buy some hair accessories. So, so these kind of linked headbands have been all the rage and I love a good headscarf. I used to always wear headscarves, but they always tend to fall over your head and it's really hard to get the bow in the right area. So I thought I'd give these a go and I ordered them in so I didn't get to try them. I put them on and I just can't seem to figure it out. Let me show you. So like, is this thing meant to go in the middle here? Because I feel like if it goes in the middle, it'll bump up right there and it looks a bit like uneven. But if I go on the side, then it... I don't know. How are you supposed to wear Are you meant to spread it out a bit more? Like, is this right? And also, I think it looks okay at the moment because I have fringe bits out. But just watch what happens when I tuck these in. So I think I end up looking more or less like an egg with fancy Christmas... Oh my gosh, look. I don't think this is the look I'm going for. You see what I mean when I look like an egg with fancy Christmas wrapping? But I just, I love these patterns so much and in an ideal world, I would have found this pattern but in like a headscarf form because I think that's just easier to maneuver. And look how cute these are! Like, if this came in a bikini, I would be all over that. But just as a headscarf, once again, the same kind of problem. And if I'm going to wear these on a super hot day, I don't think I'd have hair framing my face or I don't think I would even curl my hair because it would just turn to straight hair. So I think it does it look alright. Actually, no, this looks a bit too candy. Looks like I'm wearing a lolly. Oh, and I almost forgot. I got one pair of bathers. I've actually never bought bathers from Zara, but they're actually very, very good qualities. So I love polka dots. I love pom-poms. I love flowers. These ones had flowers and polka dots, so I got sucked in real bad. I mean, they're a little bit intense. On the model, they looked amazing because the color palette is so nice and there were pom-poms all over. I was like, that's the cutest thing ever. And when I put them on, they were just a little bit too much. But let me know if you agree with me because I think these are so cute and so fun, but are they a little bit too much? So it is like a triangle cup like that, which is also very hard to wear. I do really like the cut of the bikini bottoms because it's tied and it has the elastic around everywhere, so it fits really nicely. And it also, also has that ruching at the bottom as well, so it makes my pancake butt look a little bit better than normal. The bottom actually doesn't have that many pom-poms. I showed my boyfriend and he was like, it, the pattern is nice, but can you pull off the pom-poms? The answer is no, because I'm pretty sure the pom-poms are glued on. So when I rip them off, there's going to be that hard, dried, glued bit on there. I'm back. I've completely changed my fringe hairstyle. That was a lot of clothes to try on. I'm like sweat. <gasps> I forgot to show you one top. <laughs> It's the top that I'm wearing. So it's kind of like a thin jumper material. It's very creamy and it has these tassels on the bottom. This jumper looks very music festival to me. So I think it'd be a really nice piece to pair with like the denim flare jeans. I actually bought those together or like a denim skirt or just white jeans or something because it is like a very laid back look but it's also almost like a more hippie look. And I used to be very into that. And this is very comfortable and very breathable. So I do like this one. I don't know what accent that was. Thank you so much for watching this super long video and hopefully you can help me out with some of my fashion dilemmas. Please comment down below if you can help out and let me know what amazing pieces you bought from Zara for this spring summer. And safe to say, I don't think I'll be buying clothes for the next five years. See ya!